You ever hear a saying and wonder where it comes from? The title of this video is really straightforward. So I'm just gonna skip it and just tell you guys to support the channel by liking and subscribing. Number 15, Go Bananas. It is believed that Go Bananas and the saying Go Ape are associated and were linked together in the 1950s or 60s to indicate that someone would act like an ape would. Number 14, Hands Down. The phrase hands down comes from horse racing, as when a racer is way ahead of the opponents, they are allowed to relax their grip on the reins and let their hands down to win. Number three, have your work cut out. This phrase comes from tailoring because in sewing, the piece of fabric are cut out before they are put together. Therefore, someone who is tailoring has their work cut out for them. Number four, through the grapevine. There is a physical grapevine made out of twisty vines and there is a communication grapevine, which became popular in the 1850s as a system to communicate typically from one person to another. Number 11, tomfoolery. Tomfoolery originated in the middle ages. Tom uses just a generic name like John Doe is used to imply that the comparison be meant that the person was foolish. Number 10, turn a blind eye. This is said to have originated by Admiral Horado Nelson. I think I'm pronouncing that right. In 1801, he led the attack of the Battle of Copenhagen. His fellow companion was said to tell him that they should retreat. Nelson, who was blind in one eye, thought they would prevail. So he kept going and Nelson used his blind eye to look through a telescope to pretend everything was okay. Therefore, turning your blind eye. At number nine, feeling under the weather. To feel under the weather typically means to feel sick. It originates from sailors, as when sailors felt sick, they would go underneath the bow, which is usually the front of the boat, as the weather would literally make them feel sick. Therefore, feeling under the weather means you're feeling sick. At number eight, spill the beans. Spill the beans typically means to reveal information. It is believed that this originates from ancient Greeks as back in the day, they used beans as a voting process, where if the answer to something was yes, they would put a black bean in a jar. And if it was no, they would put a brown bean in a jar. And at the end, the beans would be spilled to reveal the decision, therefore spilling the beans. At number seven, cold shoulder. To give someone a cold shoulder means to be not welcoming to someone. This originates from back in the day in England, where when someone would go to someone's house and the host thought it was time for them to leave, they would give them a cut up piece of meat from the shoulder of a pork, mutton, or beef. This was a polite way of telling them to, you know, go ahead and get out. Number six, rub the wrong way. If someone is rubbed the wrong way, it typically means that the person was bothered in some way. This originated from America during colonial times as Americans would have servants rub their floors, and if they did not do it right, it would be considered the wrong way, and it would leave them feeling annoyed. At number five, go the whole nine yards to go the whole nine yards means to give it your all this originated from world war ii pilots as they had nine yards of ammunition and if they used all nine they would have done everything to fight off the opposition and number four butter someone up butter someone up means to hype someone up with flattery this originates from india as it was customary to throw balls of butter at statues of gods and seek a forgiveness and favor at number three barking up the wrong tree this saying means to confront the wrong the wrong thing about a certain problem this originated from dogs chasing their prey up a tree and barking thinking the prey is still there after it already left or the dog barking at the wrong tree the prey climbed at number two caught red-handed this means someone is caught doing something they wouldn't want other people to know this originates from an old english law that made it illegal for people to butcher an animal that wasn't theirs this way to get convicted, the way to get convicted for this was to get caught with the animal's blood on their hands, therefore being caught red-handed. At number one, break the ice. This saying usually means to break the tension. It originated from when there was no roads in the world yet, and countries would transport trades through ships. A lot of times, the receiving country would send small ships to break the ice that was getting in the way of the ship delivering. This gesture showed affiliation for both countries and therefore breaking the ice. 